FOB Shows, welcome back again. As you saw, I'm playing Fantasy Tavern. Now, I'm actually starting this one too, where I left off because I'm very impatient. I want to know what's going to happen, of course. Okay. And like some of you guys um, probably into this right now are like, dude, why do you end here? Hurry up. Okay. And this is me doing it right now. All right, because I really want to know. But yeah, from the last episode, we learned that uh, about our fruit. Okay, we went looking for the fruit. Couldn't find this golden fruit. Should be more Pacific. Okay, and then one rainy day, probably storm rainy day. Okay, Daisy wasn't back for quite some time. And it turns out Daisy was out looking for the fruit. Okay, and I think she did find it, but lost it. But we went out looking for Daisy, of course, that's how we knew about the fruit. As well as, you know, we learned more about Daisy and stuff like that, how she felt about certain things. And about us, no less, because, um, she said she liked me. Like, really liked me. It was really nice. I'm happy, actually. I'm really happy about that, because Daisy is, like, really on the top of my list of girls I like in the game the most right now. Okay. And yeah, we're going to be learning, seeing what's going to happen now. So let's continue. Enough of me blabbling. M me? She want i um, She hadn't wanted. I uh, wanted praise from Lupini. No, she doesn't. Ah, she's so sweet, honestly. Why what? Please explain. Oh, 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 oh! I'm gonna kiss. What? Daisy slips around my neck. My face is slowly pulled closer to Daisy, and the distance between us is shrinking. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, is this going to be a choice to push away or not? Whoa. Whoa. I know what Daisy is after. But should uh but should I really be doing this after she makes this confession out of the blue and expects me to show her how I feel like this? This is all happening too fast. I will admit it is happening a little too fast. I will admit that. Two, thinking about the situation now, actually, she could be having a like she could be having a fever, so like she's not thinking straight, maybe too. That could be another thing. I'm not saying that fevers can do that, but in some cases with like high fevers, that could occur. But oh my god, what's gonna happen? Is this gonna be a choice or not? That's the question. Okay. Daisy closes her eyes and pucker, um, puckers her up her lips. All I can do is this. Oh my god, why? 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 Why now? You son of a gun! Okay, gotta save this moment right here. God damn it, why do you do this at this point? Oh. Do I kiss Daisy or do I not? Like, Daisy is really the girl I like the most right now. <sighs> Thing is, though, there's still, like, two other volumes to do. Two, volume two and three. So, like, how far is the story going to go? Is this going to be a hair one? Is this gonna, I, I'm, I'm just like, what the hell? Okay. You know, I'm going to kiss Daisy. I'm going to kiss her because it, I like Daisy a lot. She's a really good girl. And, she de and like, she convinces her love. I really like her. I love for me talking. Let's just do it. I decided to kiss Daisy. Okay, we'll kiss. Without any time to push away the fast approaching Daisy, the distance between us quickly shrinks to nothing. Okay. By the time I feel her breath against the tip of my nose, something soft is pressed against my lips. Wait. More like I'm trying to refuse all at all. I'll kiss or only last for an instant, but I feel as if it was kissing for a very long time. 
I'm sure I'll never forget the sensation of Daisy's lips again against mine. Bro, no, that is just creepy after the kiss now. Don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. No, but bro, that's what Daisy calls me as she wraps her arms around my neck. But don't, don't do that. Wait, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Please help me. I get the reason why, but not after the kiss. And the confession on basically. Well, it's not really love. I have to say that. She says she likes me. They say she loves me. I just realized that too. But still! Uh, you don't have to do that. <laughs> okay, never mind. She said I love you, but uh, but still call me Big Brother. Oh, Big Bro. Uh, no, stop. I don't like that. I, hang on, if anyone heard her say that in the model Japan, I have a feeling I'll be arrested on the spot. Yes! Please, yes! Oi! Oh well, I'm, we're not really siblings, so who is, um, who's it hurting? It's not hurting anyone, but still, it's just weird. It's really weird. Seeing Daisy happily wig her tail, her tail I gently pat her as, uh, pat her on the head, there you go. But also... She's a cat, not a dog. If she was a dog, the wiggling thing, wiggling tail thing would be fine, but no. Yes, we're back. Yep, you're right. Daisy and I managed to pass the night inside the cave. I've been worried about that what might ha might happen if we still um, if it still rains when we woke up. However, I it's ah I've been anxious for nothing. The sun is shining as if the heavy rain of yesterday were all of were all lies. The river current has almost calmed down to a degree. Nonetheless, it still looks strong enough to carry someone away if they happen to slip and fall in. By the afternoon, we arrive into the town and now we're on our way to the tavern. Great work finding this fruit. Packing in, the, packing in the bag, then I receive from Rupini, it, it's all the fruit that Daisy gathered. Yes, we were lucky. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. With a cute yep, Daisy clings onto my arm. Oh, so cute. Don't call me Big Bro, please. It's creepy. Hey, hey, I can hardly walk like this. Oh boy. Guys, okay, I have to ask you guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to answer. Okay, um, if you guys suddenly got kissed, like got confessed by someone, and then suddenly afterwards they started calling you big bro or sis or something like that, depending on how you, you what you guys like or something like that. I don't know, I prefer. Um, how would you feel after that then? Then suddenly being called that? Because for me, it's creepy. I don't like that. I don't like being called Big Bro after that because that's just weird. Hang on, hang on. I doubt she'll let go even if I ask her to. Oh well, I guess I'll have to keep walking like this. Hello. We're home. When we enter the tavern, I see Lupini and Miss Dollar and Miss Kodavika uh, all sitting around at a table. Uh, Miss Dollar uh, and her companion are sitting on either side of Lupini uh, with serious expression on her face. Faces. Oh. Oh, were they actually like concerned about me and they, they were waiting for me just in case and get ready to go? I can see that happening actually. Miss Oya is the first one to notice that Daisy and I have entered the shop. Next, Lupina and Miss Canavina, um, v ah, Veronica, there you go, this, uh, notice us. Uh, with hardly any reaction, Lupina approaches Daisy in silence. That, uh, she then raises her hand.
Did Lupinus smack Daisy? Ooh. That's gonna be a shocker for probably, like, Daisy for sure. Hey, wait! Hey, and slaps Daisy right across the face! <laughs> Daisy looks blaff- um, ah! Blaff- ah! Baffled, there you go. But, I can't understand how Lupini feels. Ooh, sternly voice. Aww. Seeing how confused Daisy is, I can manage that this is the first time she ever been scolded by Lupini. Don't give me feels! Actually, this is actually giving me feels right now. Fuck! Don't make me cry, please. Don't make me cry. I'm actually- I'm, for some reason, I'm getting emotional. What the fuck am I getting emotional for? Tears well up in, in both of their eyes, and then Daisy jumps into Lupini's arms. お店に入ったら一人で泣いてるんだもの。びっくりしたのよ。私も何事かと思ったよ。ああ。はい、ミスはあ、ミスはね、ボンドニカ、あ、ミスはね、ボンドニカ、あ、ミスはね、ボンド
Shut- Stop! Everything is becoming more and more bizarre. Yes, it is! Uh, Miss Daisy, do you think that's enough? That's a little bit too long right there. I got shut stuff to do. The sun's going to set before then if you keep hanging on to me like this. Okay! Sorry, that sounds totally impossible. <laughs> I am loving this more and more. Well, I will try my best, but Daisy's not even gonna help. Rupina, this is. I'm trying! Of course! I tried that. I. It's true that a lot happened between me and Daisy, but I don't get why Rupina is getting so grumpy. Because she, she's jealous. It is getting interesting, yes, definitely. Wow, you are oblivious what actually is going on. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I decided to ignore the two of them gossiping in the corner like eager onlookers. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you see, it seems that Daisy gives anyone she's close to a nickname like that, exactly how she calls you Sis, um, Sis Lupini. Alright. I'm not mistaken, am I? <laughs> She's not buying it. Oh boy! Oh, making this awkward now. Excuse me, I never done anything like that. I don't get why it's necessary now. <laughs> Oh boy. What she's what is she talking about? Yes, what is she talking about? Help me. Okay, just head pats. Okay, I thought it was something else. My mind went, my mind went to the goddess for a moment. I will admit that. I don't need permission for anything. I'm pretty sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Any uh, anyway, unless I do something about this, I doubt Daisy will ever let go. If I make a, a mistake now, I might be stuck proving my love or whatever what that's supposed to mean. Oh well. It won't hurt to pat her on the head. Okay. Let my hand fall on top of her head and stroke down by following the flow of her hair. God damn, she's all over still. That's the noises. You know, if you were just listening through the headphones only, that can be taken out of context. Yeah. From somewhere. You, wait, what? Where do you know this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. The two rump. <laughs> The two rumble neck uh, neckers are looking on <laughs> from a short distance away, discussing their opinions while watching Daisy. Hey, Daisy. They'll just say you look like a female in heat. If she's, if I'm, I'm gonna assume that Daisy's gonna agree with that too. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect that. Uh, I think that's enough. Unable to stand her stringly sensation voice any longer, I removed my hand from Daisy's head. <laughs> Daisy mumbles this as she we ah basically look at my hand. As if to say, I like this instead. Wait, I'll take this instead. She expects more force than into my arms she used to latch onto me. Lupini, please don't kill me. Oh no, Lupini's eyes are scolding me. Or oh, scaring me, sorry. Uh, uh, even though Daisy is clinging onto, Lup um, clinging onto Lupini in the same way before, why does her expression look so terrifying now? Uh, I think about this while I'm waiting for Daisy to distance, um, distancing herself from me. You know, I also just realized too, I'm gonna be expecting now Daisy to be sneaking into my room at night. In her underwear, no less, like last time. This is gonna be very weird. Daisy finally lets go of me and moves away. <laughs> stop calling me big bro, please. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, of course. Not like I'm the one doing the clinging. Yeah, that is true. I'm not doing any clinging. Yeah, let's get ready now. Let's, let's forget about what just happened. Hey. Right. Ch um, get changed first. If we want to start, this place will only get um, dirty. I'm um, dustier. There you go. Yes, I am smart. I got a big brain. Okay, come on. I, that's just common sense, right? Okay, go take a shower. Wait, there's a showers? Okay, the showers in this world. Daisy runs to the back with light steps. I follow her with my eyes and turn back to Lupini. She is not happy. Don't hit me, please. She looks incredibly sorry. When her eyes meet, Lupini says, I start the preparation and then head outside. Now what? Okay, we're in town. A few days later, we um, steadily made progress with the prep, and finally, the day of the festival has arrived. I thought this was a busy city normally, but today it seems more, uh, even more lively than usual. Phew! We're successfully selling the cream pubs with our own original toppings. There you go. Um, according ah ah. Actually, there you go. Maybe we're succeeding too much. Even now, I'm still baking more cream pubs, carrying them to the stall back and forth without cease. I'm sure our success is partly thanks to the fact that our that all ah staffs. Star staff members are so cute, including me. I'm adorable. Oh my god, this looks great! Look at my cats, they're all like, aha! Though I look like shit though. <laughs> but no, this is actually cute to see. I would love to have a cream puff now. I have no doubt that if I seem um, vendor as cute as this promoting these goods in Akihabara, I would have stopped dead in my tracks. Alright. Uh. and Daisy are yelling this at the to the customers, and I glance at them out of the corner of my eyes while I wrap the next batch of cream puffs I carry over in papers. There are no such uh, breakthroughs as a uh, breakthroughs as practice wrap in this world. I can't wrap them up with claws like you would ah uh, like you would with fruit. Paper is a safer choice. Prepare Daisy, next batch is up. 
うど待ってるお客さんと同じ数だねうん早速渡してくるにゃ The one I baked this morning all sold out Well, cream puffs can't be stored at room temperature anyway, so it's better to sell them as soon as possible. Dots. Even now, I think it was a gamble on our part. It, if they weren't sold, I would be left with a mountain of rotten cream puffs. Lupina, are you sure we don't need a break? I asked him here after we finished handling, um, handling the customers their purchase. She thinks for a moment and then answers. Yeah, because. Yeah. I would say that's true, because I'm a weak ass bitch! That's good. But I have a feeling that Daisy's gonna come with me. I couldn't do that. You need a break more than I do, Lupin. Oh, now you're like a savage you for these as a boss now. Okay. I'm not sure if that really matters for this. You can give me more responsibilities at work, you know. Recently, Lupin has been working too hard. She wakes up er um, early to start prep and is working until late at night. Today is no different. She woke up early this morning and she's been working without pause. Really? What's on my face? Why are you blushing when you say that? I guess I've been start um, staring at Lupini longer than I realize. Oh wait, no, I was staring at her. Wow, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Right. There are two dark circles under her eyes of the face. She turns to me. It looks just as the same as always. But I heard that you had uh, that you had to be uh, especially careful with people like that. Right. I've got to keep an eye on Lupina to make sure she doesn't pass out from exhaustion. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> I really doubt that. You're probably exhausted. I wonder. Ooh, what? Yes! Hug. Hug, hug, hug. Give me a hug. I want a hug. Just don't start calling me big brother too, please. Please don't. Speak of the Neko! <laughs> the voice that overlaps with Pina is one that I know too well. You're doing much, uh, hey, you're doing much better than uh, the number we had planned for. I haven't baked any yet, but we have enough supplies, so I can make more if necessary. Uh, hey, Daisy! When I start, uh, when I stop Daisy from running off in the <laughs> Into the center of town, she looks at me with a particular, um, peculiar look on her face. Okay. That's not why I stop you. Hang on. You were planning on snacking, weren't you? Ah, well, a little sample wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Who doesn't love me? I love eating. I love stuffing my face with just food. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Baby, please don't hit me. <laughs> Dots. Uh, is it me? Or did Lumi just glance at, in my direction? She did. Just my imagination. My character's an idiot. Daisy, would you mind letting Lupini take a break? She's been working since, uh, she's been working since working. She's been working since working since. I think there's a slight typo, but I'm gonna go with it. I, since morning, I, and I been, I want to give her a break. 
私ばかり楽しもうとしてたんやああルピネお店なら私が見ておくから休憩してくるにゃ That's good Let's give her a break いいの Yes, you deserve it どんと任せるにゃ<笑>それじゃあはあ、ルピネは、ドゥブリー・グラブズ・オンテマイ・ハンド。一緒に見て回ろう。休憩してないのは、君も同じだからね。おお、スニーキー。How... I wonder how Daisy's gonna react now to this. Wait, I should? いいから、いいから。ほら、行くよ。How Daisy feels about this, I wonder. ルピネポーズ・マイ・ハンド。I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> There we go. Alright, Lupita po、uh, pulls me along by my hand, almost as if she doesn't hear Daisy's words at all. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna actually end it here. I think this might be a good place to end it. Okay, I didn't wanna make I don't wanna make it as long as I did in the last episode because, again, like. I wasn't paying attention to the time match because I got, I got so immersed in that. That was just crazy shit for me right there. Alright, but no, this is actually great. I'm loving these like developments and stuff. I love that actually they're showing like、uh, Lupini being jealous. Or like, she's getting annoyed by it, but I wouldn't be surprised she doesn't know why she's annoyed. Something like that. I'm expecting stuff like that. But I'm also wondering how, like, at some point we get like Renika involved in this, as well as、uh, Dolia. I think I'm saying her name correctly. I know I'm saying it wrong, okay? But,、uh, but yeah, I really love these. I love the story right now. I got emotional at one point of one of the, as you guys know. I don't know why I was getting emotional, but like for me, it was like hitting me for some reason. I don't know why. But, oh my god, I'm gushing over this. And I love it so much. Honestly, at just the first volume right now, I think、uh, the Fantasy Tavern might. Getting, be getting close to my number one favorite visual novels. Getting close. It's not exactly there, but it's getting close. But anyhow, enough of me blabbling because I talk way too much and get off topic about certain things and all that kind of jazz. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure you pound s u b s c r i b e to us enjoy it. And if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon too so you know for new videos. So until next time, this is Don Beast. Hell yeah!